Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 2, Operators and Expressions, Exercise Number 2. We have an Investigate and Modify lesson. We're going to run the program to observe the results of using the Addition Operator with different data types. Then it looks like we're going to experiment with the following operators on each line. Change one at a time, then run the program after each and observe the results. Looks like we're going to do the same thing with subtraction, multiplication, and division. Test the following expressions in the empty print statements on line 12. Let's look at our code here. Looks like we have 3 plus 5. Let's give us some space to write our predictions down. I think this is going to give us 8. 3 plus 5.0. I think when we do an integer and a double, it always transforms to a double. I think this is going to be 8.5. Next, 3.0 plus 5.0. I think a double plus a double will give us a double. We have the word high plus 5. Hmm. That's interesting. I think we're going to get the word. And then when we concatenate, we're just going to get 5 after that. Version 2.0. I think we're going to get the word version in a space because there's a space there before the quotation. And then we're going to get 2.0. 17 plus teen. I think that will give us 17 teen like that. Ooh. Let's go ahead and run and see if I'm right. Comparing our answers to what's in the console, it looks like we got everything right. Whoop. Except for our addition, kids. Classic Rhodes mistake. That should have been an 8, not an 8.5. Hmm. Next, we're going to do the same thing, but with minus. Let's do a control C to copy. And for right now, let's just use this as a little divider. Paste this in here. And let's change this now to subtraction. Let's take some guesses what's going to happen. Well, 3 minus 5, that should be negative 2. 3 minus 5.0, that should be 2.0. 3.0 minus 5.0, I think that'll be 2.0 again. High minus 5, I think we're going to get the same thing. I don't think the plus, minus, or multiplication is going to make any difference when it comes to text. I think it's just going to concatenate whatever text is with whatever number or whatever is on the other side of that equation. Let's see if I'm right. Looks like it doesn't like the dash lines for right now. So I just took it out to give us a space. Let's run that again. Hmm. It looks like it doesn't like the minus for the text. Very interesting. Let's comment it out and see if the program runs without it. We got our negative 2, 2.0, and 2.0 again. Those look like it ran. So it looks like we can use the addition to add reference and primitive type variables. We can't use the minus. Hmm, very interesting. Let's try this with multiplication.
and clean up our code. And three times five, I think that's gonna give us 15. Three times 5.0, I think that's gonna give us 15.0. And then 3.0 times 5.0, same thing. I think it's going to give us 15.0. Hmm. Getting to the text. I think this is going to give us an error now. I think the only thing we can do is concatenate those different reference variables and everything else is going to give us an error. Let's go ahead and run and see if that's what we're going to get. Hmm. Looks like the same thing's happening. Let's comment it out and see if the program runs fine after. And it looks like it is. So it looks like that multiplication between text and other variables does not work and gives us an error. That's very interesting. Let's try one more time with multiplication. That should give us 0.6, but I don't think we can get less than a whole number. I think it's gonna give us a zero. 3.5 divided by 5.0, I think this will give us 0 0.6. Same thing here, 3.0 divided by 5.0, I think that'll give us 0 0.6. When it comes to our text, I think we're gonna get an error again. Let's come up here, take our system.out.print, copy that. put one underneath each one just to give us a little space here. Oops. Put another one here, give us a little space. Let's hit run and see what we get. Oh, we forgot to change these. Let's run that one more time. We got our errors again. Let's comment it out. And it looks like we got 0 0.6.6. Again, with the integer division, we can never have more than we have. So it rounds down or drops the decimal point. Hmm, very interesting. Now, we are going to experiment with these. Let's count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's come over here. Let's come down here and give us nine print offs. And one extra one for a space. Now we are going to put these inside our print statements and make some guesses. I think this is going to follow regular arithmetic rules and that should be 2.4 times 5 and then we are going to add 5.6. So I think we should get probably 17.6 unless I have terrible math today. And our next one is going to be high plus two plus three. I think we're going to get that text high and then two, three. We have one plus one plus night. Hmm. I think because it's going to do addition first and then the concatenation we're going to get two plus night for this one. A 
like that. Our next one has some order of operations. I think we're going to do 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times 5 is 35. Next, we have some division, some subtraction, and we also have a mod in there. My guess for this one is we're going to do 2 minus 1. And then... That is 1 mod 7, which should give us a 6. And then 10 divided by 6 is 1.66. And we have a double in there, so I think we're going to get 1.6. Next one, we are going to do a minus of a minus, of a minus, of a positive, and our rules should be a negative four minus a negative four should give us a negative 8.0, and then we're minus 4.0 off that, and we're in a double, so we should get 4.0 for this one. Our next one's another order of operations we should get four inside our parentheses, and then eight divided by two is four, so four times four should be 16. Our next one, again, we have another mod here. Hmm. I think this is going to do 15 mod 3. That should give us 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. Our answer should be 1. And finally, our last one. Again, we're going to do order of operations. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. I think this is going to print off 4 ever. Oop. We want to copy this and put this at the top to see how close we were. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what happens. And it looks like we got 17.6, high 23, tonight 35. Ooh, we got an infinity. That's interesting. A 4.0. Oh, it would have been a negative. Forgot that, kids. 16, negative 4. Looks like my math was off again. And forever. Interesting. Looks like I definitely got the ones with the mods wrong. And I'm pretty sure we're going to work with those in the upcoming lessons. Key takeaways for this lesson, kids. Really, this is understanding some basic math, order of operations, and how things concatenate. Probably the most important here is if we use some sort of string and concatenate it with another data type, especially a primitive, then it's going to give us the word and then whatever the numbers or primitive types are on the side. If we do the primitive types first, it'll do whatever math and then it'll concatenate with the string afterwards. So be careful of that, especially when you're doing some math-based programming in the future. Note from the editor's room here, kids, a mod is just a remainder. Here's a visual representation of the problem we had, 15 mod 3. The remainder is 0. I was saying the number you would get to get that remainder, 5. So again, just a visual representation of a mod is just a remainder of the number we would have when it's divided in. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful, kids. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise. 
I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.